Alexa, what time is it? The time is 9.03am. 9.03. Okay, so I'm back from Ikea now. I don't know how much of that I was actually able to film because, you know, it's getting towards Christmas. It is extremely hectic in there. We turned up at Ikea this morning literally for it opening at about 10 a.m. It wasn't too busy, it was kind of quiet, but literally by half 10, it's like everyone had the same idea and everyone just marched on Ikea. So I wasn't actually able to get that much footage, not as much as I wanted. It was just too hectic. Hopefully you were able to see some of Ikea. I didn't really take too much notice of the Christmas decorations at the moment. Obviously I was more concerned about plant pots, plants, things like that, because that was actually some of the things I was going for. So without further ado, I'm gonna show you, I'm gonna give you a quick rundown of the things I bought. Uh, I can't necessarily remember the prices. I think Mark is downstairs with the receipt. I don't have much battery left on my camera, so I'd rather just get through it now. Um, I will look up the prices if I don't know them at the time, and I will put them on the screen for you so you know what they are. Right, one more thing before I get onto the IKEA haul. Uh, I have a delivery that has come today that I, when did I pay for this? Black Friday, actually. I paid for this as part of Black Friday, and I saw them on the internet, and I really, really wanted one. Well, I'm, you know what, I'm just gonna show you. Give me a moment, I have to actually unbox it. <gasps> da -da, da -da, da -da. What plant core in my living room would be complete without it? Neon cactus lamp, can you see that? I hope you can. So it comes with, it comes with, keep that there. This is the actual neon lamp. And then the base is wooden. For some reason I thought this was a cork base. I don't know if I read online that the base was cork which I wasn't actually too happy about. Um, so I'm pretty pleased. Little on off switch there on the base. Pretty cool. And then obviously it's just gonna sit in like that and it's gonna look awesome. Can you tell it's gonna look awesome? I'm very excited about this. As Soon as I'm done filming, I'm gonna go downstairs. I'm gonna have a cup of tea and I'm gonna assemble this. So I got a few things from Ikea. I'm not gonna show you, you know, the basic stuff. I got like glasses and things like that because nobody cares about anything like that or even a few plates. Um, I will show you the cushion that I bought because I'm going to be changing the colors of my living room to burnt orange. At the moment, it's like a dusty baby pink and a gray. So I wanna change that up. So I bought this Lapple, Lapple Young Rutter um, cushion cover. It is rectangular, so it's 40 by 65 centimeters. And I also have here the inner. I'm not gonna assemble these yet because I didn't actually get the burnt orange cushions that I would have liked to. So I'm gonna wait, I'm gonna order some off Amazon and I'm gonna wait till I have them and then assemble 
my new living room drapage, uh, would you say? So I'm actually gonna wait to assemble these. I'm gonna leave them as they are because I want everything to be new and fresh when I get my new cushions. I don't wanna put this one on and wait a few days and then do it. I want it to be all done in one go. So heads up, this haul is mainly plant pots, but I thought I would show you what IKEA have at the moment because some of it's actually quite interesting. So first thing I have, and I mean, this is really different sizes of the one thing. So first off, I have this, what's it called? Nippon, Nippon, Nippon uh, plant pot. I thought these were concrete. They aren't, they're plastic. I don't know you can see there. Rotate it around, it's gonna focus, yeah. So they're like these gray, plant pot type things and they aren't the prettiest plant pot in the world that's not hard to see to be honest they look pretty you know they just don't look amazing but you could drill through them because they're plastic so that's fine to me and two this small one this is nine centimeters this cost me 95 pence so this cost me less than one pound even for ikea that is cheap that is cheaper than a pound shop just to put that in perspective so if you really need some pots at the minute, you don't care too much. Maybe you just want something to cover your nursery pots with. Uh, maybe you're propagating something, I don't know. Or you just want to, you know, you actually like this and you want to use this for that. Then you could totally use this. You could drill a hole in the bottom as it is plastic. You could probably melt a hole in the bottom, to be honest. I would not be surprised if you could melt a hole through that. Um, I will probably wait and get either Mark or my dad to drill a hole through the bottom. I just thought this was really cool. Um, just cheap, you know, cheap and cheery because plant pots can be really, really expensive. So I'm actually really, really pleased to have this. Um, in addition to that, I got two of the nine centimeter uh, plant pots. They also did one in 12 centimeters. So there you go. I got a 12 centimeter, uh, slightly bigger, exactly the same style. And lastly, a 16 centimeter a larger one second up i actually bought two of these this is a gradvis is that how you say it gradvis on the back of the pot is it gonna focus it's because it's looking for my face there you go gradvis this is 12 centimeters and that is 12 centimeters at the base of the pot but i mean it's a straight pot so it shouldn't matter they do size up from this and it's in basically this gray color I can't remember what size that is. It could be 14, 15 or 16 centimeters. I'm not sure which one it is. Again, I'll find out. I'll put it up on the screen now along with the price. This was, I think, I think this was four pounds. So I grabbed two of these. I'll show you the other one in a second because there's something in it. Um, so yeah, I grabbed two of these. I actually had to walk backwards through our gear and find one of them that was just on display and just take it. On top of that, just to interlude the plant pots, um, I have, if you've seen, well, even if you have seen my plant tour video, you probably didn't notice it. I have like a glass coffee table and I like to put uh, placemats from Ikea over the top of them because we rent and I don't want to scratch the glass basically. Um, so I usually put placemats over the top of these placemats. These are Marit, Marit placemats. Here they are £1.50. So I picked up again a dusty pink one to go with the theme. I know I'm switching to burnt orange, but I'm gonna switch between black and white and burnt orange and gray and pink. So that's like my switcheroo. When I am using the burnt orange slash black and white theme, I went and picked up this one, which is probably a little bit more expensive. This is, I don't know, Godarg? <laughs> I don't know what that is. I've never seen it before. It's really thick. Like this is twice as thick as the other one. If I can get the other one back up. This one is like super cheap material compared to this one. This is like really, really thick. Um, I didn't buy it because it was thick. I just bought it because it matched with obviously the black and white aesthetic that I'm going for with my cushion. Right, next on my plant pot list is I bought two of, I bought two of these. This is a terracotta pot. It is called Ingafara. But if you can see that there, is it gonna focus? I hope it does. Please focus. Focus! There. Um, so it has a drainage hole in the bottom and it also has the tray. Now these two together, I think were two pounds 50, which is really, really good um, because you don't have to worry, like it's ready to go. Um, size is this, this is 12 centimeters, so it's not that big, but there were larger ones than this, um, which I would have bought a larger one than this, to be honest, but I, it was just an in-betweeny size. I needed something way, way bigger, but I'm very, very happy to get these. I, uh, I did get two. Um, Again, 
I'm just a little bit paranoid about symmetry if I ever want to do something down the line where I have something on either side of something. If I don't buy two, I can't do it, so symmetry is important to me. So yeah, £2.50 for this, I think is great. Like, that's quite a substantial plant pot for that. So let's talk about the plant situation for a second, because I went to Ikea today and I didn't necessarily think I was going to get a plant anyway. Um, I had thought about getting a second Orbifolia to kind of stand next to mine. I think I have a problem with things coming in twos. I nearly did buy it, but I actually tried to exercise some level of control and realised, no, I have an Orbifolia. I shouldn't be upset because it has a few brown leaves. I should just be happy with what I have. So I walked away from the only Calathea Orbifolia, as you will have seen, that they had there. Um, but I did get a little something something for downstairs and it sits inside the other pink plant pot. It sits inside the second one of these. And that is, you know what it is? I don't know what it is. This! It's so cool. I think it's a sans. Well, I know it's a Sansevieria. I don't actually know what type it is. I don't think it's Cylindrica. I think Cylindrica looks more cylindrical. <laughs> uh, I'll show you it close up. It's super awesome. Is it gonna focus? Yeah. Super, super cute. It's in a 12 centimeter pot, so just so you know what it looks like. Yeah, like look how cool he is. I mean, how could I not get that? I had to get that. I had to. I think that's it. Uh, oh, 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 there is one more thing. And I found this today in Ikea. Well, actually I found it online and I've waited for it to come back in stock. But I found this one thing from Ikea and I am ex that I managed to pick one up. I looked at it, I thought, I'm gonna use that for something. It's gonna be obvious when I lift it up and show it to you what that something is. I'm just super happy to find it. It wasn't even that expensive. You're gonna take one look and go, yes, I see where you're going with this. Give me one moment. So my boyfriend already assembled it for me because I didn't think it'd be worth uh, showing you just the box it was in because it was just in a plain white box and the preview of what it was was just so tiny on the sticker and I thought, you know what, I need it anyway, just please just assemble it for me and then I can show everybody in the video. So are you ready? Because I'm super excited. I bought from Ikea. This is new, this is in now, but you need to get it really, really quickly. I bought this. This is like really, really solid metal. It is actually a display stand, but I mean, it's pretty obvious what I'm gonna use this for. I'm gonna put plants on it. I don't think the one drawback to this, Ooh. the one drawback I would say that this has is that you can't put anything huge on it. Like the top plate here, I'll show you what it has. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see. You can, uh, you can assemble this in any way that you want. I've just assembled it the way that they kind of showed on all of the, you know, the packaging. But you can like rotate these and twist these around and you can change the order that they're in. But we built it just as it came. The top plate, I think you'll have no problem getting a plant on. I would say that was like, oh, I don't know, eight or nine inches in diameter across the top there. Um, these ones are smaller, but that's not the problem really. The problem lies in the fact that they're overlapped with the, you know, the bottom of this one. So you can put plants on it, but I just don't think you're gonna get anything substantial on it. Sorry if I keep, uh, hanging the metal there. But you will get plants on it. It's just, I think if you have like little baby succulents, then this is definitely for you. If you're trying to house larger plants on it, then maybe it isn't. Um, but yeah, I will show you, to give you some context, I will show you what can go on it. This is a nine centimeter pot, as I said before. It doesn't, it doesn't sit. Um, I don't know how tall this is, but yeah, I can't get that pot to sit on there. I can, however, sit it on the run above. So that's fine. Maybe you've got something really, really small there. I don't know what would sit here. If anyone has any ideas, let me know. Um, so yeah, a nine centimeter would sit there. I don't know if you'd get a 12 on there. Should we try? I bother with these things so you don't have to. Ooh, you're not gonna comfortably, oh, you might. Depending on the height of your 12 centimeter pot, you might get something that fits a little bit better than this one. Um, I'm not sure. But technically, technically the pot sits on there. I don't know how long it's been in stock. I don't think it's part of the winter season or anything, but I would honestly get yourself down there and grab one. Uh, I think that's it. Yeah, as I say, I would have got some plants today. I Honestly, I would have, but they just like, you saw the selection. There wasn't, in my opinion, very much. And I found a couple of like shady Calathea, 
uh, over in a corner. But apart from that, there was nothing really. Also, if you were watching my video, you will know that in my IKEA, there was actually velvet touches in there. Um, you really need to get down there. Well, that's it for this IKEA haul. Um, yeah, I don't know when I'll next be back to IKEA. I don't think it's going to be this year. I think it might be next year now because I don't think there's anything I need. So without further ado, thank you very, very much for watching. I hope this was not too long. I will, believe me, I will have tried to cut this down quite a lot. So hopefully it hasn't gone on too long. So if you like this video, please leave a like down below. If you like my content, please subscribe because I am a small channel and it's really, really helping me out. So thank you guys very much for your support. If you have any suggestions on videos you'd like to see me do, whether it would be care videos, uh, another planned tour, because I'm genuinely thinking of doing one in the next couple of weeks, maybe. I don't know if that's too early to do. Please let me know. So I will leave you to get on with your day. Thank you very much for watching. It is worth taking a trip to Ikea, in my opinion, for all things plant related. Thank you for watching, guys. I will see you in the next one.